In this next tutorial lesson lecture, we're going to be installing the Oracle client on Commvault. So let's get started. Let's go to Tools, then Add Remove Software, then Install Software. Same thing with the wizard. So we're going to push uh, Next and Install Wizard. This is going to be a um, Windows actually because it's a Windows server. If you would do it on a Linux box, of course it would be a Linux, but since it's an Oracle uh, database we've installed on the Windows box, we're going to do Windows and push Next. So we're going to do Manual Select Computers. We're going to Import from Active Directory. We're going to um, select our domain name, Garlic Food. Push OK. We're going to see a bunch of our domain computers show up whenever it stops loading right yeah okay so I put that that Oracle uh, install on this box here that's the the uh, media agent 01 or 1 if you will gonna push add there okay looks good happy next we're gonna put our domain credentials in and we're gonna push next so we're going to scroll down until we find the Oracle database. We're going to highlight that and you notice it says provide backup recover for Oracle database objects. So we're going to click on Oracle and we're going to push next because it's the only thing we're adding to it. Um, since this is a Windows client, we're going to just uh, click on Windows client group, add it, push next. So I don't I do have a firewall um, disabled, I believe, on this server, so I'm going to leave everything default here. Push next. We're going to leave everything default here. Push next. There is no firewall. Yeah, my firewall is disabled. Let me go to the media agent and see if that's disabled as well, just so it run, runs smoothly. Okay, that's disabled too. Good. Good. No firewalls in between. Awesome. So cool. Minimize this. No firewalls, so we're good there. Next. Again, this is a development environment, so, you know, do what you want, right? But in a production environment, of course, you can have a firewall in between, right? And there's a bunch of other stuff there. But anyway, um, we'll do job initiation. We're just going to do run it now. Next. Okay, let's just make sure everything is good to go copying remote package so it's IDA for Oracle that's the server it's installing on the hmm, yep everything looks fine looks happy no firewalls in between okay good all right awesome okay so let's uh, let's push finish and then we'll go to our job controller and then we'll we'll check it out. Okay. So we'll see what that's doing. Since it's already there already is uh, a client installed on it, like a file agent and a media agent installed on it. It does have some of the the core um, core dependencies if you will. Uh, so we're just adding a feature to it. So it should be fairly easy shouldn't be any um, problem with it working okay install software in progress okay looks like the software has been um, successfully installed fantastic see it is 90 percent that's great fantastic awesome spectacular okay so we can um, we can close this out. Completed. Good. And hop on over to our media agent, or in this case, actually, it's a client as well. Just going to double click on that, and we're going to see. So now we see our Oracle um, client. We're going to scroll down a little bit so we can get more real estate there. We're going to just open it up there, and then you see our Oracle database there. And that's the name of the Oracle database, actually. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you for viewing this tutorial on how to install Oracle uh, client 
agent on a uh, Windows box in Commvault. If you like this video and you want to see more, please jump on to my course, which is, I have two courses. One is at getajobnit.teachable.com and the other course is on Udemy. It's Learn Backup and Restore with Commvault, Get a High Paying Job. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer. There's some good content there related to this. If you would, could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications? Thank you very much.